Hello! Under my last video of this mission, I received a comment that stated To get accurate replay, you need to initiate the recording during the mission, not after it in the results group. I was intrigued and I went ahead and tried this. And as you can see, yes, this works. By using this feature, I was able to record this mission from the replay from different camera angles. All in all, I recorded it three times. One time from the interior as I, as I flew it, and two times from different exterior angles. This way I can get sh shots like this, with nice exterior shots of the planes, while the water splashes from the destroyer fire are going on. Meanwhile, I got more comments. I wasted your time on my stupid request again, didn't I? Sorry. There is nothing to be sorry for. I like doing this. And guys, if you want me to make some specific video, just go ahead and ask me. I like doing this, as I said. Please do a full-scale jab attack with Kates and Vels on a US carrier. I already did that. Hellcats defend kamikazes or something. If you search for kamikaze on my channel, you should find it. The problem with full-scale attacks on carriers is that as soon as many ships open up with flag, the FPS are quite low. As you can see, in this mission there are only two little ships, two destroyers, which already have a lowered rate of fire, and it's still this much of fire. <laughs> quite a spectacle going on. In a full-scale mission I would like to have something like 16 ships, and like two carriers, two battleships, those four ships alone are enough to lower FPS. It also depends on the version. FPS are always best in mod activator versions, but in my mod activator version I don't have ships like the USS Iowa. When I do a, an attack on a US carrier task force, of course I do want to have some American battleships and maybe British cruisers, whatever, but the only battleship that is awa available in 413 is the King George V class, which is hilariously unfitting. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I actually tried that some days ago in HSFX with the battleships, and I had to delete the files because FPS were too low. Simple as that. As soon as many planes are suiciding into carriers and dropping orcas and bombs and stuff, FPS dropped to 12, 15, which is really too low to show this footage. If you say that you would still watch the video with low FPS, okay, fine with me. Maybe I'll think about it. Meanwhile, in the background, a zero is chasing a F6F, a Hellcat. This comment really helped. This way I can create way better videos. With awesome camera angles and special shots and stuff. Like this, showing the enemy destroyer from a static camera, getting sunk from a torpedo. Oh, yeah. And... While I'm flying away from the convoy, the torpedoes are still going. Apart, of course, from that one that sank the destroyer. Still going, getting closer. And meanwhile, still dogfights going on. With the destroyer in the background and the sinking destroyer in the background. Cannon fire, crashing planes. Oh, yeah.
Meanwhile, my plane is under attack and I'm forced to take evasive action. You really don't want to get shot in those Japanese planes. They have no armor at all, they don't even have self-sealing tanks. Any hit in the fuel tanks and you immediately burn to death. You don't burn to death, but your wing gets ripped off sooner or later. Meanwhile, we have this awesome shot, in my opinion at least, where the destroyer is about to be torpedoed and planes are flying by at the same time. I like it. This was really fun making this. Trying to get all the cool camera angles. And there it is. Double strike. Two destroyers sunk by 10 G4Ms with one torpedo salvo. I was very lucky to get this kind of result from one mission, honestly. A few minutes later I already thought that we were safe. We got under attack by Hellcats again. And G4Ms really can't do anything against Hellcats. Robert said shoot them in the cockpit. Yeah, well, even that front part of the cockpit is armored, I think. I think a willing, ready and able Hellcat will pretty much bring an end to you. <laughs> and there are the G4M goes flashing in the water. And the Hellcat is still not done. He's coming right after the next one. And with this 7.62mm machine gun or something, with a drum magazine, it's not even belt fed, you have to reload after like 50 to 75 shots or something. You really can't do anything against those Hellcats. And there, seen from the exterior view of the Hellcat, diving down on the G4M. There I'm trying my best in the rear gunner position. No, leave him alone. Didn't help. That smoke is he coming from the G5M. That's a fuel tank fire, he's done. It's not that bad at the moment, but it will worsen. Feel free to suggest video ideas. I'm always happy to fulfill video wishes. Also, I'm open for criticism. If you don't like anything about this, just tell me. I'll try to improve. Some while ago I got asked to do a B-29 raid. And I think I might go ahead and intercept some. Or maybe escort them. Maybe fly them, but the cockpit really isn't too great. It's a modded one. Let me know if you really want to have a big attack on a carrier for task force or a B-29 raid. Even if FPS might be low or there is an ugly cockpit. Tell me, I will do my best. And for now, see you. Oh yeah, by the way, before I forget, the first time I tried to record this commentary, the following happened. Hello, Fishy here. I got a comment under my last video that said to get accurate replay... Penis, penis, penis! User left your channel.